Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be doing the things I hate about living in Switzerland. <laughs> now, before you get started criticizing and saying, well, what are you doing there if you don't like the place? I would have to refer you to my other video, which I did on this channel, which was the 10 things that I love about living in Switzerland. And by and large, I really do like living here. I think it's an absolutely wonderful country. I really do not take that for granted at all. I think we just enjoy an amazing standard of living here. To those of you guys who don't know, I'm actually Swiss and Canadian. I speak German as well. I have the passport since birth. My mother is Swiss. feel like I'm Swiss and I'm Canadian. I have lived in Switzerland now for just about 10 or I think like more than 10 years. So that's like a little disclaimer before I get on hating my country. So the first thing I really don't like about Switzerland is very poor service overall. So I'm talking about service like when you go into a store or when you go out to eat and I mean I grew up in Canada so I was always very used to how polite and how friendly Canadians are um, especially if you go out to eat for dinner in Canada or even in the States like the waiters and waitresses are so kind and so thoughtful and they will really go out of your way to make it right you know it's kind of like the customers always right there let's say there's something on the menu and you want to change something like maybe you're allergic to something like it's absolutely no problem uh, versus here here, they'll do it but they'll like give you a look that like they're just annoyed at you service in restaurants can sometimes be atrocious like I have gone out for dinner here and I have not been greeted by the waiting staff like or I've gone out like and nobody has said thank you thank you for coming to eat here but it's also in stores like sometimes the salespeople are just very rude having experienced service in North America it's just night and day that leads me to my second point and that is eating out or dining out in Switzerland is super expensive even for Swiss people like if you earn a Swiss salary but you go out to eat like multiple times a week you are gonna be burning through your cash really fast because going out to eat here is really crazy expensive in comparison to what you actually get for it so like I said often the service is really bad and that only annoys me further when then at the end of our meal we get this huge bill and it's like okay I've paid over a hundred dollars to eat here and you haven't even said thank you or you haven't even like said hello to me when I came in the door. For two people, definitely expect to pay over $100 for a meal. Sometimes my husband and I will treat ourselves, we'll go to like a nicer restaurant, not like super upper price, but like a little bit nicer. And we've paid like 160, 180 Swiss francs, which is like almost the same as US dollars. Often I'm just really disappointed at the food. So just because you're spending a lot of money doesn't mean the food is good. All right, so the next thing that really irks me about living in Switzerland is the insane markup that we have on consumer goods so obviously everybody knows Switzerland is an expensive country and when you like when tourists come here um, they'll be quite shocked if they've never been here before they'll be quite shocked at how expensive things are but I'm talking about like regular things like household goods like laundry detergent or food or soap or shampoo or especially makeup like cosmetics just like a plain box dye maybe from a brand like L'Oreal or something will cost you upwards of $20. You know, a mascara from L'Oreal will cost something like $26. Detergent will cost you like 12, 13, 14, 15 dollars even for buying laundry detergent. Now, a lot of people say, well, you know, that price is justified because Swiss people earn a lot more money, but the markup that they have on the product is exorbitant and there have been a lot of consumer reports in Switzerland like some people say well people in Switzerland earn higher salaries and therefore the stores have to charge more to pay their workers and also they have more higher fixed costs it's more exorbitant than that it's like if they were really just um, covering the cost of their workers, they wouldn't be making as many profits as they do in Switzerland. And there's been tons of consumer reports about that, that actually these big brands just have a much higher markup in Switzerland to basically gouge the Swiss consumer because they know that we earn more money. I mean, I would be prepared to pay a little bit more if I knew that all that money was going to pay higher salaries, but that is just absolutely not the case. That is not true. Um, the most of that money is uh, being turned into profits. So the next Next thing that I don't really like about Switzerland is that if you move here and you're new to the country and you don't really know anyone, it is really hard in the beginning to make friends and to meet new people. And I have heard this from pretty much everyone that I know who has moved to Switzerland and like, you know, had to kind of start over. Here in Switzerland, a lot of people stay friends with people they met 
from their childhood. Like I know a lot of Swiss people whose best friends are like the same friends that they've had since they went to like primary school together or they've went to like high school or you know people they've met through university or their higher education. If you're coming here as an adult, you're out of that kind of environment where you tend to meet a lot of people at school. It can be very hard to meet locals. It can be very hard to integrate into the life here. I mean, the Swiss people will they'll be friendly, but it'll be very hard to really get below the surface and really um, say, okay, I've made like friends here, like people I can call up on the weekend and be like, hey, let's do something together. It took me a long time and I've heard this echoed from every other sort of foreigner that I've met who lives here. And I know this is gonna sound so ridiculous. We don't have a lot of good fast food here. <laughs> so I know in general, that's like a good thing that we don't live in a society where fast food is like so proliferated that everyone is kind of eating this crappy food all the time. But sometimes I just feel in the mood for like a good burger or something just unhealthy. And it's just the only option is like McDonald's or Burger King. And sometimes I don't feel like that. I feel like something different. Obviously in the larger scope of things, it's good that, you know, we don't have so many fast food chains here, but sometimes it's just, I miss it. But I did recently read that Five Guys is coming to Switzerland. Woo! It's just really hard to find a good burger. We do have like burger restaurants, but they'll be like so overpriced. And I'm sorry, they're just not the same. I come from North America, so I know what burgers taste like in the USA and Canada. And all the burgers here that I've had in Switzerland just do not come close. Society in general is fairly conservative here. People don't want to go outside the norm. Everyone kind of tries to fit in with what is like socially acceptable. And I feel like sometimes it can be a little bit stifling and it can be boring. Um, whenever I go, you know, on holiday to the United States or to Vancouver and you walk down the street and you see all these different people. Sometimes you see people wearing weird outfits and wearing like bright, colorful clothing, or you see like, you see such a diverse group of people and people who are just not afraid to be themselves out in the public. And it's very rare that you see that in Switzerland. Like you never see somebody wearing like something really unusual here, for example. I think people are just afraid of getting made fun of. Like they'll be very stylish and fashionable, but you will rarely see someone wearing like a bright, bold color. I'll do something and then people will be kind of like, oh, like shocked, you know, because that's not something that is like socially acceptable to do that like in a public kind of place. Having grown up in Canada where it's kind of like, oh, everything goes much more like laid back. Things like that happen more often. Like people just do weird things and it's like, oh yeah, that's so cool. And that's so fun. And versus here, it's like, oh my God, what is that person doing? Like, that's not, that's not the norm. They don't fit into the society. Like, it's just, that part really bugs me because I feel like it's just stifling. Shopping in Switzerland in general is not super fun. We don't get a lot of diversity in stores here. Like if you go from one city to the next, it's kind of always the same. Like we'll have the same stores in every town. There aren't a whole lot of unique stores and it'll take like forever for them to finally come to Switzerland because you know, Switzerland is such a small um, blip on the map of Europe or on the entire world. So it's such a small market. So sometimes these big brands I guess don't think it's really worth it to come to Switzerland. So sometimes it's not possible for me to buy certain things that I want to buy. I know it's like first world problems. I can't buy what I want to. It's kind of the same, like every, every city is kind of the same stuff. It just does get a little bit boring. The work-life balance. If you're employed at like a Swiss company, full-time job is 43 hours per week, but a lot of Swiss people work way more than that because they work overtime, but sometimes money is not the be all and end all to life. You know, sometimes it would be nicer to just have more free time. Women do get maternity leave, but for example, there is no paternity leave. Well, they would pretty much have to take their vacation time because there is no like vacation, like paternal leave for for fathers to take care of their children. And it's often not like really accepted um, that men work less once they have a family. It's very common sometimes that the woman in the relationship will work less and she'll maybe only work three or four days a week, but it's not really so accepted that men do that. Childcare expenses are very high. I have friends who have children and who work either full-time or part-time. The amount that it costs them to have their children taken care of during the day while they're at work is just crazy. Both partners are working full-time and you have maybe two kids 
parents who are in um, child childcare during the day, you're gonna be paying so much money for that privilege. It's definitely something to consider if you're planning on having children is that having children here is very, very expensive. Now, the thing is the um, childcare services, they get adjusted to your wage to a certain degree. So the more you earn, the more your childcare will cost the people who earn less uh, don't have to pay as much which I think is honestly great I mean let's be honest that's a very very socially forward thing to do so that everyone can afford to have their children taken care of so another thing that I don't like about living in Switzerland and it has a Swiss word called Kantonligeist. there's 26 cantons provinces or territories or states something like you can kind of think of it that way each canton can basically make up their own well some of their own rules kind of like every state or every province has different you know laws and rules and stuff like that they even have their own um, tax systems I mean it's just part of being a federal system it's a very very decentralized federal systems and that has a lot of advantages obviously but it can get kind of annoying because each canton kind of just looks out for itself and that's why we call it Kantonligeist, kind of just looking out for your own self and not really thinking about the country as a whole that can pose some problems in the Swiss political system when you know a, t a decision has to be made on the federal level and there will be like different cantons who will be like against it and then they'll be like well you know we're disadvantaged because of this and this and so that kind of Kantonligeist is very annoying you can kind of feel it sometimes in the social social aspect as well when I came here to Switzerland I just considered everyone Swiss like that lives here but people in Switzerland they'll be like oh no I'm I'm from the Bernese Oberland and oh no I'm from Tessin oh, I am from here and they do consider themselves Swiss, but they will often identify very strongly to the canton where they're from. Little sort of rivalries between the different cantons, which I honestly think is ridiculous. All right, so there you have it. All the things I don't like about living in Switzerland. Please go check out the 10 things I love about Switzerland, because let's be honest, the 10 good things far outride the negative things. Thanks for subscribing to this channel and let me know in the comments what things you don't like if you do live in Switzerland, what things you don't like about living here. I will see you guys in the next video.